I'm taking a popular, a fancy European dish and turning it into an easy keto casserole. And of course, I'm gonna throw in some secret ingredients in there to make this one for the books and only 1.6 grams of carbs. <laughs> We're gonna turn chicken cordon bleu into a casserole. Now, cordon bleu literally means blue ribbon, which means that this dish is delicious. It was originally made out of like pork and veal, but it's since moved to chicken because everybody loves chicken and has chicken. And everything goes with chicken, even Swiss cheese and ham. But instead of slicing and stuffing and breading and frying or baking, however they do it, we're actually just gonna throw things into a casserole dish and bake it. Makes it a lot easier, but you get the same delicious, great taste. And you're looking at less than two grams of carbs per serving compared to like 20 grams of carbs in regular chicken cordon bleu. All right, I'm gonna go with this guy. I think he's supposed to be a turkey, but we're gonna call him a chicken, a chicken with a hat on. Now let's get to cooking so I can show you how easy this is to make. First, we're gonna start with our chicken because that's the most time consuming part of the dish. And I'm using chicken thighs because I like the taste better, but you can certainly use breast or tenderloins here. I'm cubing my chicken into little bite-sized chunks. Next, we cook our chicken bits in a skillet with a little hint of avocado oil. Don't forget to lightly season your chicken here. You may have to work in batches because this is two pounds of chicken and this all didn't fit in my skillet. Once your chicken's cooked, we're going to add the ham portion of the classic chicken cordon bleu. This is a sugar-free ham. It's raised by Pedersen Farms. Lots of hams that you get at the grocery store have a lot of sugar fillers or dextrose in them. So if you're looking for one that's sugar-free, I highly recommend this brand. And this is actually already pre-cooked, but I'm gonna add it to my skillet just so I can marry those flavors together. And you do wanna do this, especially if you get one from the grocery store. A lot of those tend to have a higher moisture content too, so you wanna cook out a lot of that moisture. And if you don't wanna use ham, bacon is actually really good in this recipe. We've removed both of these from the skillet and let's move on to our sauce. See these brown bits right here? This is where all the flavor lives, so don't throw this away. We are gonna scrape up that flavor and add it to our sauce. Add in two tablespoons of butter to your skillet, and once that's melted, we're gonna add in a third cup of heavy cream. A quarter cup of chicken broth. And I'm using white wine, a quarter cup, because classic Cordon Bleu is a wine-based sauce. And yes, this is how I pour it, because whenever I cook with wine, I end up enjoying a glass too. But if you don't wanna use wine, just omit it. And when your sauce is finished, add one tablespoon of lemon juice. It'll brighten it up and taste just as good. I'm gonna cook that for a few minutes and then turn down the heat just a touch and then slowly mix in one and a half cups of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. I like to use grated cheese because it doesn't have any fillers in it. And I get a lot of people asking about the best food processor. My favorite is this Breville food processor. It's expensive, but you can see how quickly it grates up a block of cheese. It is so fast and it has been going on strong for three years and I will never give it up. Now comes the flavor. We're gonna add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard and then my secret ingredients, which is red pepper flakes and cayenne pepper. This just really adds a little spice to it. And then salt and pepper for more flavor. We gotta taste this sauce, see where we're at. Mm, that white wine sauce with a little bit of the kick from the peppers is everything. The sauce is glorious. Now we assemble our casserole. Add in the chicken and ham mixture to your dish. And I'm using a square baking dish, but you can use like an eight by 10 casserole dish too, that'll work. And then pour your cheese sauce on top. And it wouldn't be chicken cordon bleu without Swiss cheese. So I'm adding a cup and a half of shredded Swiss cheese. Bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And taking a look at our carb tracker, this dish makes six servings, and for each serving, it's only 1.6 grams of net carbs. I just love casseroles. In fact, I have a whole collection of go-to keto casseroles, including my keto lasagna, and you won't believe what I use in place of noodles. Click right here to see that. Time to dig in. Mm. Sauce. 